to you. So we've got two resources that we're going to use for this strategy as we do pretty well for all addition and subtraction number facts and that's 10 frames and number lines. So let's look at the 10 frames for a start. A 10 frame is a really really good device for helping students to recognize the numbers up to 10 in what we call subitizable patterns which means they can recognize the number without actually counting the counters. So you'll be able to look at that and see straight away there are five counters. We want children to recognize that in the same way and by saying they're not counting what I mean by that is they're not saying one, two, three, four, five. So they're not using the sequence of number names they're simply glancing at it and seeing. Okay this isn't really about 10 frames but that's a you know a quick introduction to that. Um, and the other part of using 10 frames is we have a couple of choices so we can either start them as they were just now in pairs and have odd and even numbers as we go up to 10 or we can fill up one row one at a time up to five and then the second row. So let's continue with it like that um, since the number's five it's going to be quite convenient and we're counting on one two or three. So this, the question for the student will be what is five plus one what is 5 plus 2 or 5 plus 3 or the turnarounds for those. So we could say what is 3 plus 5, 2 plus 5 or 1 plus 5. Realize of course, realizing of course that we want the students to count on the small increment and the increments only go up to 3 so we're never going to count on 4 or above. We're only counting on 1, 2 or 3 and if we have another number with 1, 2 or 3 we always start with that number, start with a large one and count on the small amount. Alright so the question might be what's 5 and 1 more? We want the students to recognize that the answer is going to be 6 but we don't want to use the 10 frame as a sort of um, physical calculator where you put the counters on and then say how many do you have now? Let's count them or something like that or even let's subitize them we're not using the 10 frame to find out what the answer is, we're using the 10 frame to help the students imagine it and visualize it, picture it in their minds, that sort of thing. So rather than put the counter on straight away we might say what number is this on the 10 frame, how many will there be if we add one more, can you picture it in your mind, what will it look like, that sort of thing. So we want the students to visualize that and we could use the same color or a different color, I don't particularly mind but this emphasizes the 5 plus 1. Similarly 5 plus 2, 5 plus 3. So we're asking the students as I said to picture it in their mind and think what the answer will be before we actually show it with the counter. So we'll probably show the 5 to start with but the sum, the 5 plus something else, we want them to picture it first Obviously some students won't be ready for that when they're very young so they may need the counters to support that level of thinking but that's where we're going with this and of course ultimately we want to stop using the, the 10 frame altogether and say what's 5 plus 2 and we want the students to think of those numbers and the 10 frame gives them a visual model on which to base that sort of thinking. Alright, using the number line is not really this, I was going to say it's much the same thing, it's the same sort of principle that we want the students to visualize and think in their heads and again not use this as a calculating device. But it does represent the numbers differently, for a start there are no counters there, so there are no objects that are being counted or, or the numbers not being represented by physical um, objects but rather by the symbols or the written numerals from 0 to 10 and of course they're written in sequence from 0 to 10. So what we're looking at is the sequence of counting numbers. So whereas if we were doing another number fact like 4 plus, uh, 4 plus 5, we could do that on a number line but it's slow and cumbersome and, and it's you know when the numbers get larger the, the number line's not all that useful. We can use it but 10 frames are going to be more useful for a lot of those examples. But for counting on 1, 2 or 3 the number line actually emphasizes what we want which is the counting on aspect. So if we were to say what is 6 plus 2 or, and we would use other language, I meant to say that before, so we could say 6 and 2 or 6 and 2 more or 2 more than 6. You know any language that's similar to that that, it, that in, 
uh, encapsulates the addition operation will be fine. So 6 plus 2, use the number line to, to visualize the answer. Again, we're not necessarily, or especially when the students are uh, able to do it without actually recording it on the number line, we're not going to say, all right, find the six, count on two more, what number do you get to? That's okay when the students are just learning it, but what ultimately we want them to do is to be able to look at the number line and see what the answer is or work it out in their head and then of course do it without the number line. But obviously um, at the learning phase the students can see that there, there's, um, there are two jumps. If we're starting from the six we're moving on to, then we get to eight and so on. We can talk about the fact that if you start with an even number, you'll get to an even number. If we add two, if you start with an odd number, you get to an odd number. There are all sorts of patterns and so on that can be seen here. Um, you've got the whole set to work with, starting with any number from zero all the way up to 10 to add on one, two or three. Some are going to be really easy. Some are going to be harder than others. There'll be a whole lot of things that you can talk to students about. So. I just want to say this, although when you look at the worksheet it's just a plain set of practice exercises, our intention here is not just to give the students busy work. We're not just saying here do a page of these and be quiet. We're using this as a vehicle to help them practice thinking. So the most important thing, because I think when we look at these it would be easy to look at that and go well these are too easy you know, I can't see any great intellectual challenge here. The challenge is getting it in your head. So for the children, we want them to be able to visualize, think about the numbers in their head. In the case of the number line, think of the sequence of numbers in their head. So another way to do this, just on that particular point using the sequence, is not to use any resources at all and say something like, think about the number eight. In your head, I want you to count on two more and tell me what you get to. So I ask them to count silently with net, without even whispering 10, you know, so they can think in their head 9, 10. So that's the, the, um, the aim of all number fact strategies is to help students to think about it in their head and reach the answer accordingly.